Hi guys, and welcome to another new series, or another new mini-series, I guess. One of the house series. So we've got Let's Build a House number four. Now, I actually haven't finished number three yet, but um, I'm going to be doing these in parallel recording-wise. You guys will be getting them later. So I'm just going to be doing a couple of exteriors. I might even continue a couple more. I'm just kind of in that mood. But I'm um, going to be doing another design of the Google SketchUp warehouse. Um, uh, it's, again, by Paul Wool. Paul Wool? Paul Wool. I think it's designed that one, that one, and... And this one, he's got some just brilliant designs, to be honest. Um, now, the little colours I've actually decided to do is I'm going to use this yellow. So this is um, basically a biome version so in beach. So it's going to be a bit different. I might even tweak this colour as well as I do this house because it will help me uh, kind of see it all in context. And, and these are the materials I've chosen. I'm just going to use light grey wall at the bottom just as something different um, so that we've got like a base colour. Like this one doesn't have one, but, you know, for example, here we've got this base colour down there. Uh, that works, and then it's it's raised up by one, as quite a lot of these houses actually are. Uh, but I'm going to use the light grey for that instead. So it's going to make it a little bit different, and I've got the yellow, obviously. I'm going to have uh, stone brick, I'm going to use that, and then the white trim. I wasn't really too sure if I'm going to use, you know, this one here. I don't think so. I think I think just the plain white rather than the right white tiles. I think at some point I will use those white kind of tiled, the, the chiselled ones. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to have, I think, probably a free block gap on this side. One, two, three, and then we're gonna have this here. So this wall from the, from the kind of like plans that I've got at least, um, it's supposed to be like 15 back. So we're gonna try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and that will give us yeah, that'll give us big enough garden. Could in fact knock it back a bit. So we go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. So that works. I'm going to have the garage on this side as well. So that's going to be 9 going across. So 1, 2, so let's count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's right. What was that? I can actually put these on top at least. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That will actually be a lot easier, I think, as well. Might as well double it up as we go along. Okay, so then I'm pushed back just to here. Then go across on the front porch by 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We can put that on top as well. So this is going to be like the porch area. As it does have one on this one. And again, this goes up by 2. So nice and simple. This one here will be a 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that will give us... It's the basic kind of shapes. This one, 1... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that gives us the back. That's right. That doesn't seem right at all. Even though that is. What's going on here? If I turn on the chat, because I have to for, for this bit. There we go. If we go bam. 15. This just looks... For some reason, this looks shorter. Uh, 15. Okay. Ignore me, then. That's fine. That's a ton of chat. <laughs> right, anyway. So, what we've got... Or what we do have... Uh, around the back there... On this design, there's a couple bits here. So, we've got one, two, three. Not too sure if we'll do that or not, or if we'll have it bigger than that. I'm not too sure. We'll see. But, one, two, three. This one goes across with seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that just goes in. Here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. See how that goes anyway. So we just build this up. And what I do, obviously, to make this a little bit quicker, as soon as I put down the first base layer, I figure out what this block idea is. So it's 5, 9. Like that. It's 1, 2, 3, 4 in total. There we go. And that's there. So set to 5, colon 9. Now I'm just going to go around these. Hopefully we should be able to get the entire... Well, my goal is for this entire episode to pretty much just set the base of of this one. And I might have to do a couple of roofs or, or roof tiles in the background or off camera. That's absolutely fine though, to be honest, isn't it? There we go. So we get that up to there. Put this in. That one in there. And there. It does look quite tall at the minute. And then I'll show you guys what I've got planned from this. And I think this one I can just do by hand. So I'm thinking this bit uh, can be like a sun lounge or can be the kitchen. And it might be quite nice to actually have this as the kitchen. So it has windows that look out on the garden. You can have like, the kids playing outside or whatever. Um, that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? 
Right, and also, what floor am I going to go for? Hmm. I want to use for a little while. Jungle I've never used. But with the... Uh, with the yellow? Is it going to work? I mean, obviously this doesn't look yellow at the minute, but if I do this... Look at that. And if anyone's wondering what this is, um, in my texture pack I have biome-specific blocks. So this one is... I've basically done biome-specific blocks with different colours so that we can do that kind of like American style uh, painted wood. So that's what I've got. And you need up to find to be able to use this. And the stick that I'm using is a, is a plugin on, on my server. So it's a plot server. If you guys want to check it out, obviously you guys can come and check it out and try it out and see what you think and then, you know, build some cool stuff. Right, okay, so this is going to be really glaringly yellow. Wow, it really is yellow. <laughs> this is me trying to push my boundaries, by the way, guys, if you were wondering. Okay, so this is going to be the um, garage door. So we're going to just go one, two, three, maybe. That's up there. And I'm just going to go with the, the other style that I want, well, the other style, the other type that I always use. This one won't change either. I'm just going to have this one. The shutter type material that I've got. Um, people that are on different texture packs can always use the chisel quartz if you can actually bring this sideways. That actually looks pretty cool. So you can actually use that as well. Okay. This right here on the actual design has a really cool brick type thing which comes out. Uh, not like that though. Like that. This one has the roof on it now. Is that going to push us forwards too much? Probably, probably not. I don't think. We'll have a look. Just trying to figure this out. It's fine. Right. Okay. Well, we'll leave that for now. The roof is—it's really simple on this one. So it's just going to be a typical type like this. You know, your typical kind of um. I went what kind of A-frame, I guess, isn't it? It's not really an A-frame. I don't know. This typical style, you know, simple. And not really high, so because that's not got 15 on each side and it's just got attachments to it, like um, like this bit moves in, that bit moves out, for example, it will work out uh, fine when we actually do the, the roof bit. But it has got a little bit of difference in design when we actually get onto the front bit. It's actually got this really cool front bit, or at least on the model. It's this really cool front bit. This back one as well is going to have this one we just got up here. So have a nice peak. Something like a, a well, either a big, big kitchen area with a big roof, an open roof, or something else. I don't know. Depends on what you want to do. Okay, so that gives us the basic part of it. Now we're also going to have. Now this is where we're going to have to figure out the roof kind of already. Uh, we're just going to have stone brick on these bits, and then it'll be on the outside that there's this colour, basically. And that should look okay. <laughs> I'm still not sure about the yellow. It's because I don't see it in houses. Because I don't see it in houses or Minecraft houses, it's, like, really hideous to me. At least I think it is, anyway. But it looks alright. There we go, so we'll get to there. That'll be the same on this side as well. That'll obviously go across to here. We'll just do a little bit of it so we can figure out the next step, and then obviously that'll go to there. And all that bit. This bit I can like fill in off camera. Um, if you guys are, are not modern or not medieval builders, you probably won't know. If you do like a frame like this, uh, you can actually just basically work your way around it. And all you do, and that's how you join them up. And that's literally how you join them up. Because you've still got this straight line here for this big one. It's just that it kind of intersects with the small one. So I don't know if you guys. Well, at least that's how I, I learned how to do it using frames. There we go. So we've got that, that that and then this will go there and then that one will stick over like that that okay it's very bright right so this front bit now on the picture that I've got it is raised up slightly so we need to figure out how we're going to do that also if I am going to go from here so it's got a very interesting and unique thing now if I start from here it wouldn't look quite right because it actually mm, <laughs> it's very difficult. It's very different, even right. So if it was there or not there, but there, what would that look like? Would that be too high? I think it might be. But then again, that might be too low. It won't look quite right. So let's try one up higher. There, and then actually we can just do this for the time being. Let's get that one up. This is the interesting roof part of it. And 
end over here as well. I think it was there, wasn't it? Yeah, so I'm, actually that is probably going to have to come down by one. Now I'm looking at it. This is why I try out, or why everybody should try out things. So you can see if it actually will work or not. Now, oh, there we go. There, 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 there. there. And then you got that there. I ideally want it just to be about about one or two blocks above this bin. Maybe this has actually worked out. So if this was here, I'll do that. I right, figure this out. At the minute, that's the same level. Okay, so that's the same level at the minute. Which is okay, it will wrap around perfectly, but I do want to have this raised. So this whole bit here needs to go up by one, so we can actually do... This here. Like even up, probably up by two in total. Which is it's quite big. I just don't know if that's too big. What I'm going to do is just do slash slash cut. And then, boom, boom. Slash slash, paste. Okay, and that'll give it one. See what that looks like. And we'll have this weird thing here. There we go. So then that would go over the top. Just by one. And if that was on here, so that would be going flat on there. Right, so this looks like oh uh, this would then So that one there has a single block there. Double block there. So if we add one to that get this type of shape and then this is where it's going to get complicated so I'm going to get that type of shape there that goes to there that one there this is what I'm trying to figure out now so that will go to there and then and this one's underneath this is why I wanted maybe an extra block and you'll see why in a second so that would go to there and then when we'd have the overhang you'd only be able to do the single block you wouldn't be able to do the upside downs which is why I think we still need to Got one extra block. So I'll try that. You guys are probably thinking, what the hell am I trying to figure out? But uh, it all makes sense to me anyway. There we go. So cut, jump, paste, and there we go. So I think that will probably do it. So we can now get rid of that. And like this, and that obviously we can get rid of that. And I think this then. So this is currently down one level. That will then go up. So this will now be here. To there. And then that will go up. Like that. Until it hits here. Now this one actually, weirdly, the the um, the other side of it, at least on this, the model by, um, by Paul Bull, has, uh, just slopes down normally. So it goes up to a peak on this, on this side. And then it peaks down normally. It's really weird. Or well, well not really weird, but it's a little bit weird. Okay, so that will go to there. Or well, there. This one will go to there. This one. Go to there. And then curve this around as well. That, and okay. Now this makes a bit more sense, I think. Just very high up. I'm very aware it's very high up. And that to me does not look right. It looks too massive, doesn't it? Huh. So what I've got in the picture is this goes up and actually attaches on via something like this. Or it comes underneath, doesn't it? Okay, so this would go underneath then. Like this. Okay, that needs to go there. Like <laughs> this. Get on the end. Okay, maybe do that instead. So it connects on. And maybe even maybe not even doing this. Doing slabs. But on this level. So I mean I think the the wall level here behind it is correct. I think this front bit is isn't is too it's too high up. So that's what I think I'm getting stuck on. <laughs> right, so maybe if I have that down way down here. So we can even start on that slab, couldn't we? Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then 
าวังหมดสนนะลุกนะโอเคสุดแท้ that's now gonna be too low so we're stuck in between now which is really annoying might be because this is too big then my original plan though was to have three windows here three windows here and then have your doorway maybe we can actually shorten that so what I'm actually going to do because I think it is perspective-y type thing is that I'll finish the episode here I'm going to shorten the house just by probably two blocks you know I'm just going to knock off two blocks literally right in this middle bit and just shuffle things along just off this this side and just shove that over and we'll we'll see how it is but um thanks very much for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this episode um i'll see what happens on the next episode <laughs> we'll, we'll shuffle it over i'll start playing around with this front roof and once we've got that we can work on all the windows all the doors uh, extra little bits and pieces really um but thanks very much for watching guys i'll see you on the next one